<laughs> All right, folks, that's um, me off work now for a couple of weeks, so pretty excited about that. But first thing to start the holidays, I think, is we shot him arse on the RC cars, so. Today I've got the Typhon 3S out just for a wee shot before I go and pick up my daughter and yeah, just see what happens. I was up here um, a few days ago, I just found this area with my UDR. It's pretty actually alright, it's quite open, there's a few little bits for jumps and nobody seems to come here so you get a good bit of peace. Look, like it's been used for a good while. It's, the containers are all abandoned and in day been smashed up a bit. But yeah, there's nobody here to bore you. You can see all the tire tracks for last time. That was me uh, about two or three days ago. So it didn't look like anybody's been up here with anything at all. So here we go. Yeah, I can see my car. Where am I? I really like this little car, it's only 3S, one of my smaller cars, but it goes some. Look at that. I do that all day. I've got four batteries with me today, so. This should be good, giving it enough time. My steering trim's a little bit off there. It's a problem, I've got, got three, three girls in the house and the youngest one, she tends to just, anytime I sit there anything about, she just plays about with it. So the steering was the wrong way around, the tracking's off. That might be it. Seems to be there, aye, right, so it's always something to reset it up. Last time I never actually came any further up than this sort of area, so maybe we wander up the hill today, so no hurry really. Have a look about, see if there's anything else doing. It just takes off on the slightest little incline. This place just looks better and better. There's got to be some cracking jumping areas up here. Look at that go. I mean for 3S, that is, that is a fast RC. Oh, holy shit. See what's down here. Now, I've lived so close to this place for such a long time that it's about the only thing I've never been up before for whatever reason I've never bothered but it's actually looking a better one because you can see a lot of good areas for the UDR, the, the Arma Outcast will be absolutely amazing here. Um, try to think what else. Obviously the TRX4, even the excavator, I mean, this will probably be my new area for a while. It looks like there's going to be loads of different places to come, so... Get bored going to the same places. It's a little BMX park that I've... Well, it's not a park, but in the woods. A little area I've been doing a lot of videos in, because there's jumps and stuff, but... 
It gets a bit boring going to the same place all the time. That's a lot bigger up here than I really thought. For the roadside, it looks absolutely tiny. Donuts. There's no idea how it lets you do some kind of donuts. Check that out. It's absolutely awesome up here. Really annoyed at myself not actually been here before now. Whoa. I think if we get that, this little thing surprises you what it can do. When it gets a bit of momentum behind it, it shifts. <laughs> Not the greatest of landings, but that's too fun. Fail. Let's do that one more time. No. <laughs> That's a big jump. Yeah, go. When you start to lose control of this, it seems quite easy just to back a tiny bit of throttle and you seem to get your steering back, no problem. I think the outcast has to come up here though, I would absolutely destroy this place. Oh, I had, I asked me what I bought two sets of tyres for it. Last two outings I've blew two tyres a time by doing backflips and front flips and stuff, so I think I'm either going to have to get a son it's not the backflip D boots or change maybe my style of how I'm driving it because I can't be spending that kind of money all the time. It's not a lot but when you're going through tyres constantly, I mean few sets and that's another car you could have in your collection so just got a new um, Savox 30 kilogram steering servo for it too because the one at armour give you it works fine but I notice when the car is sitting stationary it kind of struggles to turn the wheels there's a wee bit of a wee bit of sort of strain on it so I got the they're basically the modified um, servo mount, which to stop sort of flex. But even with that, still, it's. I think it could be better, so, so I'll get that in as well for next time I'm out. It's an absolute bullet. Edit that bit out, I think. <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> Probably should have looked up there before I done the jump. <laughs> oh, there we are.
Oh. Oh, we need a backflip. Never try the backflip on this, maybe it'll happen. Just keep on the power, I think. Here we go. Yeah! Oh. Kinda. Oh, yes! Oh, is that the battery died? Ah, uh, that or the connect oh, the connection's not came off, so... One battery down, it looks like. Yeah, low voltage is on. A fair bit of heat in that battery actually there. So what other ones have we got? Two. Yeah. Ah, this is the new ones I've got, the 11.1 volt 3S 5000 milliamp an hour overland batteries. I've got other overland ones too, overland or even ones too, but in hard cases, which I quite prefer just because it's a hard case, probably a bit more protected, but Obviously you get another 500 milliamps out of that, so you get a little bit more run time. These are also 35C discharge, the other ones are 55C. I don't really notice any huge difference between the two batteries. Another little thing as well, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, I don't know if my head's facing, but I just put a couple of tie wraps around these cables here, just because they seem to sit right at the edge, so when you get out of the box, it always worries me if you get like a stick or something coming in, it might tear them off, but other than that, that's the only thing I've actually done to this car. I don't think I'll do anything else to it at all either. Kind of a phase where <coughs> I used to like up gearing, down gearing, playing about with things, but sometimes I think the reality is they come out the factory the way they are for a reason, and it's usually because it's the perfect balance of power and acceleration. So when you mess with it too much, you start to get problems. I learned that with my tracks of slash because. Got that up to 75 mile an hour. Um, started off as a brushed motor, but I got a Valenia on it, and then um, eventually the story of that is anyway. It, the ECU went on fire, so I've not actually rebuilt it up yet. But I think I've probably just put too much strain on the car. So some things are best left alone. See the height difference of the new battery now. jump off this but could end in tears but who cares I'm gonna do get a bit more kick off these 
5C, let's charge batteries into the 35. Now we're talking. 